Look, I really don't think we can dismiss the possibility that this is the same person. There are too many similarities. Well, perhaps we should leave the police work to the police and concentrate on making sure the community protects itself until he's caught. That's assuming he is going to be caught. Like I said, this guy is very smart. The more I think about it, the more I think you're onto something. Have you spoken to the cops yet? Well, the cops generally aren't too receptive to being told they're wrong. Oh, they are professionals. Yeah, but the guy's holding the town to ransom. This puts a whole new spin on it. But even so, I mean, what can we do except make people more aware? Well, I don't know, Ted. I'll think about it. You know, it's like one of those movies when someone thinks that the person who attacked them is dead. And then suddenly that person comes back to life again. Now, I can't get this thought out of my head that that it might be the same guy and that my dad killed an, an innocent man. Just why go away, Brad. Hey, come on, darling. What's all this? Cheer up. We've got a holiday to look forward to. Hey, let's go tomorrow. Let's not wait any longer. What about Irene? What about her? Cool. Listen, everyone. It's, it's Travis. Hang on. It's about jogging, man. So think about it. Think hard about it. Anything suspicious you might have noticed. The, the smallest detail. Somewhere out there, someone knows something that's going to help us get this guy. If you think you do know something, give me a call. All calls are in complete confidence. Look forward to hearing from you. Well, he certainly laid the gauntlet down. Yeah, I just hope it works. Well, if nothing else, it might scare our man back underground. Uh, not necessarily. This guy's a local, he's got to be. No? Well, what makes you so sure? The strangers would stick out like sore thumbs. They, they would have been noticed. I don't see that that necessarily follows. Well, think about it. Who's the least likely person you'd suspect? Someone you know. Someone you see all the time. Yes, but sure. I mean, they'd be running an awful risk of, um, of being, being recognised, wouldn't they? Sure. But I think this guy actually enjoys the risk. He gets off on it. It adds spice to the whole thing. He likes living on the edge. That's why he keeps calling Travis at the radio station. He's challenging people to recognise his voice. So you're saying it could be anyone in this room, for example? Absolutely. You've got to put yourself in their shoes. Role play. Think the way they do. Well, can we talk about something else? You know, it, uh, it almost sounds as though you're enjoying it. Yeah, I'm just explaining. I'll shut up if you like. <laughs> yeah, well, it just gives me the creeps thinking it could be someone I see every day. Somebody or not. Well, if it's true. Travis Nash? Yeah. I'm Natalie Parker. Sister of Colin Parker. Come in. Uh, should I know of Colin Parker? We were talking about him this morning on your radio program. He was a man who was shot outside of court by the father of the girl he was supposed to have attacked. Right. I wanted to talk to you in person. Okay. It hasn't been easy to live with. So what can you tell me? I know who attacked all those girls. Let us know if you need anything. Thanks. Look, I know it's got nothing to do with you or the radio station, but I was just wondering whether or not you'd approach anyone else about doing the phone-in spot, like the one I'm doing, before you gave me the gig. No, we never approached anyone. We did have someone come to us, though. Brad Cooper? Yeah. You know him? We don't need firewood. We will come night time. And we're going to need some more kindling, too. What are they? Traps. Animal traps? Yeah. Dad had some problems with wild pigs a while back. But aren't they legal? Wild pigs? Yeah. Well, 
so why use them? Well, let's just say Dad's from the old school. None of that greeny business for him. Hmm. But they must inflict so much pain. Yeah. Well, let's not talk about that, huh? Let's go find some kindling. Come on. I tell you what, how about you look for some over there? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it all looks a bit damp. Oh, hang on, no, this is okay. There's heaps over here. Sorry, I must have lost you there for a minute. Uh, is this enough? Yeah, should be enough to get us through the night. All right, well, how about we head back? Sure, after you. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a case of someone's brother trying to think the best of him. You know, she was sure Chloe's dad shot the wrong guy, but maybe she just didn't want to believe her brother could have done it. But now, I'm as sure as I can be. That it was Brad? It has to be. Colin Parker shared a flat at uni with Brad. They were still seeing each other occasionally. It would have been so easy for Brad to set him up. And it also explains all the phone calls at the radio station. And all the things he was telling me while I was making the phone calls at the same time. And he was telling us. He was telling us he'd done it. It was like he was pushing our nose in and laughing when we didn't even realise. But he was here once when a call came in. Remember you told me. The phone rang and he walked in, so... Well, maybe he had a mate do that one. Or, or it was a recording. Did you talk to the person that time? I mean, did he answer anything you said? Well, I spoke for about two seconds and then Brad took the phone off me. Tape, mobile phone. For someone as well, smart as him, it wouldn't be difficult to rig something up. Imagine how he would have felt when Chloe first saw him. And then when she didn't recognise him and he could see that he got away with it. And that she actually liked him. I, I better go see her and Brad. Well, they've gone. Irene told me. Well, gone where? She doesn't know. Brad picked her up this morning and took her up to this place. In the mountains. No water. Sorry, there must be something wrong with the pump or the tank. Not to worry though. I've got a bucket in the boot. Fresh stream water coming right up. How far away is the stream? About half a k. Getting there's the easy bit. Getting back up the hill with a bucket full of water. Well, it sounds like a man's job. Oh yeah, there's going to be tough and dangerous and all those things. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going. I'm going. Um, is there anything you need done while you're gone? Nope. You just lie back and take it easy. You don't have to do a thing this weekend. I've got it all planned. Police will find them. Look, I can't hang around singing carols. I'll be careful, I promise.
You miss me? Took a bit longer than I thought. Still, we have some fresh water. The hunter has done the job. Are you okay? You heard it too, did you? I hoped you hadn't. If I'd known there were still some wild pigs around here, I wouldn't have brought you. I'm sorry. But there's no need to panic, though. You just stay near the house while I go outside and set up all the traps. No, I'm not. It's okay. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I've done it before. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, fine. Listen, um, I left my wet pack in the car. Can I just have the keys? I'll go and get it. Please? It's okay. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. It's okay. I was going out again anyway. Besides, you'll be safer in here until I set up all the traps. So you just relax. And I'll be back in a minute. Then we can have some fun.